He's what they call the reinforcements. Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Siege Commander class. Jetfire! So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have some very nice artwork of Jetfire Omega! Siege War for Cybertron, Transformers, out top, Transformers War for Cybertron. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the side of the box, you have the lovely Siege artwork on the other side of the box. We just have the rest of this picture here with bloody bloody bloody. He is a commander classic, classic commandante, classic commandante, and a classic commander. And on the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things and stuff. Warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have a Siege Jetfire, and he's a big boy, he's a big boy, look at him, look at him, so here he is, in his jet mode, and let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details, you got a nice transparent blue plastic there for the cockpit, you got some molded detail right behind it, you have an Autobot symbol right there, which you can actually switch around on this rotating panel and make him a Decepticon, if you want to, so... That's pretty cool. You have that option there. So you have that going on. You got the nice red. Got some black, some black, some more red, some more red, some white, some more of that transparent blue with that molded detail behind it. It's a pretty nice detail throughout the figure itself. As you can see, I like all this detail going on here. Wings also. That's a pretty nice detail. Red stripe just going down the length. The big old thrusters here in the back. And all in all, pretty good looking. You do have the uh, rolling landing gears, and it does actually roll quite smoothly. Nice smooth roll. Nice smooth roll going on there. But yeah, there's the top, and there is whoop, there's the bottom. Yeah, all in all, he looks quite, quite good. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the previous generation's leader class Jetfire. So you can see how that works out. Whoosh. And here he is with G1 Jetfire, because he's precious. Oh, so precious. Whoosh. And with some other CG goodness here, here he is with Voyager Starscream. Leader class, Shockwave, Voyager, Springer, Voyager Prime, and Leader class, Magnus. So, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include quite a bit of weaponry that can combine together to make this big uh, backpack of murder here. And this is just all of the guns combined here. You can see just done in black, red, white, Autobot symbol right there. Guns, 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 guns. Look at all those guns. I love the gunmetal gray they use on the barrels. That looks really nice. There's the other side. And this can store on top of the jet mode. You just want to bring these fins down. And there's a port right up top. And you just plug it in, plug it in. Like so. And you got the big backpack of murder. Yay! And it can rotate if you want it to, if you need it to. So, hey, that's a thing you can do if you want to do it. All of this can come apart. You can remove these. You can remove these. And... You can also remove these guns as well. You just unpeg. From this section, there's a little tab here on the side of this gun that these tabs go into. And you can remove this big gun right here. And this is his main gun, as you can see. And it can split in two. So you can have that going on. And you have these little flip down posts. And this one, you can move the uh, centralized post 
up to bring down the post that lines up with this particular gun, which is pretty cool. And you can take this stuff and you can plug it onto Jetfire pretty much wherever you want. You can take these guns, you can plug them into these ports back here. Have that going on if you wish. There are ports underneath the wings as well, so you can plug these little guns here. If you want to, you do have these little flip down posts here. You can bring those down like so, and you can take these little guns, you can plug them in right there. So you can have that going on and plug these here, you know, you can do that. Have all kinds of that going on. Hey, all things you can do if you want to do them. You can take these guns as well, plug them under the wings, plug them back here, plug it up here, do whatever you want, or you can just take the uh, double barreled blaster and have that sitting up there. You know, hey, you can do all kinds of that. Do all kinds of that. And you do also have a couple of ports down here also that you can kind of plug guns into if you want to. Hey, it doesn't work on any of these other. These are just, uh, these are just screw holes so they don't fit in here. But, you know, still quite a few places that you can plug weapons if you want to. You have options. And as always, options are good. And you also do get new effects parts, my new favorite effects parts. You get two of these, and I love these, just cast in an orange rubber, but I love these, I love these. And you can take these, you can plug them into the back of the thrusters and have that going on, and that looks quite, quite cool. You can also take these, and these will plug into any of the guns. You can plug them into these barrels, have some pew pewing and bang banging. You can plug them onto these little guns, like so, or plug it onto this one, like that. Or you can plug it on to the big blaster here, have that going on. And these do come apart. They break up into three pieces, so you can use these in pretty much any kind of combination you want. We can take these two and plug one into each barrel and have that going on. And these will obviously work with any of your other Siege figures. You can plug them on anywhere you want. I love these. I, I, these are my new favorite effects parts. And another added play feature here in uh, Jet Mode, let's take that off, is you do have these little... Uh, these little handles that you can flip down, you have those two up front, and you have two right here that you take the side skirt piece, and you just slide it down like that, and then you can just swing this post out. You have one on either side, and just slide those out, and uh, these are basically just posts that your other bots can hang off of, and uh, this is kind of cool. This is a neat little play feature here, and you can take, you know, any of your bots, we'll just have Prime here. And you can just kind of have Prime just kind of hanging off a jet fire like that. <laughs> have that going on. Hey, things you can do if you want to do it. You know, you can hang them. Have them hanging on by both. You know, have them doing some pull-ups or something. I don't know, but hey, all things you can do if you want to do it. You can have a bot just hanging off of each one if you want. So, hey. Again, all things you can do if you want to do it. Just a little extra added play value there with with jet fire. I just drop things. Hey. <laughs> so that is basically it for the jet mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. Woo. So first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna take these little, uh, these little handles here, little handlebars, and just get these stored back. In, boop, like so. And now we're gonna come here to the backpack section and we're just gonna kind of raise this up and that will unpeg it from these sections here. Just bring it up on a double hinge, bring it forward and just compress that down like so. You can take these fins, you can leave them up, flatten them out, do whatever you want, I always flatten them out. But once we've done that, uh, what are we gonna do? I guess we'll start with the upper body and we'll do the legs last. I think that's the best course of action here. Oh, and we also want to uh, flip up the landing gears. And we shall proceed. So we're gonna take these side sections here, untab them, and just bring them up. They will angle up and get out of the way for us so we can grab the arm here and unpeg it, like so. There's a peg that just goes right in here. So just unpack the arm 
and I just bring that out like so. And what we're doing with the arm here is we're going to bring up this little section here. Let's bring that out and then extend the arm right here. Now we can rotate. We want to flip out the hand, bring it up a bit because we're going to take this assembly here and flip that in. And then that will just peg in right there. And there you have an arm all done. Second verse is just like the first. So just unpeg that. Bring that out to the side. And then we flip out that little bit here. Extend the arm there at the elbow. Rotate. Bring out the hand. Flip out that section there. Peg that in. And there you have the arms all done. So now we're going to take this whole section here. We can bring this down. You can see Jetfire's head will come down. And there's this little trap door there for his head. A little spring loaded trap door. This is kind of cool. So we just bring that down and we can bring these sections all the way up. We take this section here that will just fold in like so. And then we just fold all of this in into the body that will clip in right there these chest panels will just slide in these slots right in there like so and then we take the shoulders and they will just lock in on either side clickety clackety clickety clackety we can turn his head around and now for the wings you just want to bring the wings up they will thoop into place up top take this panel Flip that in, take this panel here, flip that up, and then the tip of the wing will fold back and just tab in back there. We got that side done, same thing on the other side. I just bring that up, flip that in, flip that up, swing all of this back, tab it in. And we basically got his upper body all done. Sometimes this likes to come undone though. That could be a little bit of a pain in the butt. But well, there we have the upper body done. So now, onto the legs, you're just going to extend them down on this double hinge, like so. You're going to take this section here, unpeg it, this will swing around, that will swing into the leg, and all that will tab in right up in there. And we just open up the toes, flip out the heel. Uh, his ankle tilt is actually locked in place, you have to untab it. So the tab just clips in right in there. So that undoes his ankle tilt. And there you have leg all done. Second verse, just like the first. So just extend that down. Swing that around. Tab it in. Toe. Heel. Tilt. Ah, there we go. It's quite secure. And I think we're done. Oh, we're done. Yes, we're done. Woo, we're done. We're done for now anyway. So there you go. There you have Jetfire in his robot mode. And he is a very good looking g one Jetfire. Looks quite, quite good in my opinion. So let's get in close here so we can take a look. Not at his chest, at his noggin. There it is. You can see. Pretty nicely done head sculpt. You have the blue there for the crest. Some transparent and blue right there as well. Nice blue for the eyes. Silver for the face. You can see. Lots of nice detail going on. Again, you want to be an Autobot or if you want to be a Decepticon. You can go either way. Do what you want. But all in all, looks quite good, in my opinion, anyway. Moving down his big old legs, his big old feet. You got some black and white detailing on the backs of the legs. And he has a typical Jetfire backpack going on there. So that's just par for the course for this particular character. No, no. I think he looks good. I think he looks good. And now, as far as articulation goes, the head can rotate. It can look up and down. Uh, this panel here can move up some. Let's see. When I'm looking extra up. Um, it doesn't really serve a purpose for the transformation because there's only but so much room in here in this little 
this little opening. So if you have the head tilted back, it actually doesn't fit in there. So I really, I, I don't know what specific purpose that's for, but hey, it's a thing that moves if you want it to move. Uh, the arms can rotate. Of course, the wings will kind of get in the way, but they move pretty much as much as you need them to on a ratchet joint. Yeah, inward and outward movement right there. And sometimes this little clip can come undone when you're moving the arms around, as you can see. So that could have held in just a bit more, just a bit more securely. Now coming down the body here, he does have bicep rotation. You do have a double jointed elbow, but you only get slightly over 90 degrees of bend just due to this extra piece right here. Uh, as far as your wrists go, you do have wrist rotation. And one little cool thing about this figure is you can see here, he does have a built-in port to hold the gun, but when you open up his fingers, it actually, oops, <laughs> you don't want that to happen. When you open up his fingers, you can see that actually, the port actually retracts into his hand. And that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. So you got that going on. He does have waist rotation. Not a lot, but some. Legs can move forward that far. Back that far. Uh, outward. This likes to come undone pretty easily too. You stay. Uh, that can move out of the way. Outward. He can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend there out of the knee. And the feet can't move up. The toes can move down a bit. And you do have all of that ankle tilted And of course you can arm him up. If you wish, we can give him any of these guns. We can give him this little gun here. You can hold that if you want. You can hold this blaster right here. The peg is, you know, it's long enough that you can hold on to it. It's not that secure of a grip, but you can still hold it if you want. Or you can just give him his traditional big old double barreled blaster right there. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. So that's a thing you can do if you want to do it. Or we can bring in the backpack of murder here and you can just store all of this on his back. I guess you want to do it this way, like so. You can have the backpack of murder just stored on his back if you wish, or you can use this to further arm him up and make him ready for battle here. And this part's kind of cool. So we're gonna take all this off, take all this off. We're going to remove these guns, these guns. Look at all those guns. So remove all that. So the first thing we are going to do here is we're going to just split this gun apart and just bring the handle down, bring this handle down and I'll just hold either of these in his hands like that. We take these blasters here. These will peg on to his forearms like so. We're going to take these little smaller weapons here and we're going to flip up these little red pegs and these are kind of hard to get flipped up with your hands here so you just kind of Bring the wing up, bring it down, it'll just kind of leave the peg behind. Just get that up. And this will peg in right there. And bring that up. Like so. Peg that one in there. Come back here. And these weapons will just plug onto these tabs like so. And like so. And then we bring in this new chest piece here. We open it up and we have a new face plate here and that just pushes out. Close that back up and the face plates just plugs right on like that. And we want to flip out these tabs here on his chest. Just flip those out like so. And these will go into these two tabs right here. And there's even a little peg hole here for that little post. But it all holds in pretty securely. So you just plug that in 
get everything lined up so it plugs it on both sides sometimes getting this side lined up is a little bit difficult there we go plug all that in and there you now have a totally armored up jet fire and that is pretty cool and reminiscent of the g1 toy as well so there you have jet fire all armed up if you want and of course you can bring in the effects parts. You can plug it onto his chest, make it look like he's getting shot. Arr, have all that going on. Plug these into the barrels. If you want, you can split these up. Get something a little bit more, uh, a little bit more dynamic going on. You kind of have this plugged in there. Have one of these plugged in here or something. I don't know. You can do things. Hey, lots of things you can do. You can take this one, plug this one in here. You can take some of these, you know, you can plug that up there, do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. He does also have the ports on the bottoms of his feet as well. So you can plug those in, give him rocket feet, or you can plug them, you know, into the thrusters there. Use that, have that going on. You know, again, do whatever you want. As always, your toy, display it however you wish, but you have quite a few display options going on there and as always options are what they're good but let's get in close here and just take a uh, a quick look at his new face you can see nice transclearance blue there for the visor as well as the forehead you can see that works pretty seamlessly there so quite quite nice very cool so there you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with the Generations Leader Jetfire. Here he is with G1 Jetfire because he's precious. Oh, so precious. Yay. And here he is with the Fans Toys Jetfire, which is masterpiece scaled, so duh, it's bigger, a lot bigger. So... Yeah, but with some of the other Siege Boys, here he is with uh, Leader Class Shockwave, Voyager, Starscream, he's just a little guy, Voyager Springer, Voyager Prime, Leader Class Magnus, and lastly, here is Jetfire as a senior citizen. So, there you go. So there you have a Jetfire. Um, you know, he's a pretty cool figure. Um, I do have some nitpicks with him, though. I do wish some things uh, held together and locked together a bit more securely. Some parts are a little too easy to kind of come undone. Um, so, so definitely some room for improvement. Um, you know, the jet mode, I think, looks great. I think the robot mode looks great. I love the kind of, like, armored up mode. I think that's a really cool addition. Love the new effects parts. Always happy for more effects parts. And right now, these are definitely my favorites. So not without its flaws, definitely room for improvement. But overall, he's, he's a fun toy. A lot of playability here, so. There you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Siege toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Siege playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Siege Commander Class Jetfire. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Boom in your face! Get fire! Get fire! Hey! I see you, Prime. Give me a second! Okay, that's better. Listen, Jetfire, I have the... I have the perfect mission for you! Yes, what would that be? We're standing on things for convenience.
Um, hello, Lord Megatron. It is I, a fellow Decepticon. Are you really a Decepticon? Uh, of course I am. Mwahaha. Only truly evil people say mwahaha. Clearly, I trust him. So, how would you like to help us in our cause? I believe we should send Optimus Prime a message. Yeah, what message is that? <laughs> ah! Oh, now that is a good throw, Jetfire! Oh, don't worry, Megatron! I'll catch you! I gotcha! I gotcha! Soink! Ah! Oh! Uh, you really thought I was gonna catch you there for a second, didn't you? You know, I'm genuinely starting to wonder why people consider me the bad guy in all this.